Welcome back, everybody, to your three-man booth. The NFL Draft is in the books. I'm Dan Salem with Phil and Bud. And as fans of the Jets and Giants, I'm going to give our teams a round of applause because they seem to do some things right. Bud was not involved in even watching the Jets, which means they definitely nailed it because he doesn't know about it. (laughs) They didn't screw up. he, He couldn't be upset about anything, so he can just be universally happy like the most the rest of us after the fact so i, I want to start there because most people are praising the jets for what they did at the draft which scares the hell out of me as a jets fan but then samini at espn's ripping them apart which means that they definitely did something right because i don't think he knows what the hell he's talking about <laughs> they went all offense for the first four picks in the first time in my lifetime and then they just loaded up with as many defensive players as possible to try to compete to make the roster. I'm pretty happy, but I know you weren't really able to follow it too closely, but you're a fan and they actually drafted for offense. How, how are you feeling? Um, I don't know. I'm mixed. Speechless. I'm mixed on it. <laughs> You're mixed. Well, okay. you, knew, you knew Zach Wilson was the pick. I mean, that was yeah. – we, we knew they were – was, No one was surprised by that. So, yeah, no, I, I wasn't surprised by that. I, I, I would have – they obviously need offensive help, right? I mean, that's that's a no-brainer. I would have liked to have seen um, some more emphasis on the defense because right now they have no cornerbacks, yeah. um, no outside pass rush presence. Um is CJ Mosley even coming back? I mean, so what are they going to do with middle linebacker? Well, um, I think he is. Well, well, yeah, but I mean, well, let me give you a counterpoint. He, to that. he literally hasn't played yeah. in two years. Well, let me give you a counterpoint to that. Two things. This was a very weak defensive draft in the first two rounds. That was, or at least the weakest in recent memory. And it was a very strong offensive draft, talent wise, in the first two rounds. Now, after that, I don't, I don't think you can say that. And I also think our head coach prides himself on finding diamonds in the rough. He, he loves switching safeties into linebackers. He did it at San Francisco. He loves make getting more out of his defense than is there to begin with. So that's why they loaded. They've got like five, four cornerbacks or four safety cornerbacks. I think a couple of them are going to turn into linebackers. They're just hoping one or two make the team. So they, they didn't ignore defense, but they didn't draft any guaranteed starters either, obviously. Um, I, I really thought they were going to pick a wide receiver with their second pick, and I was thrilled that they didn't. So that made me happy. Well, well they were going to – what I read was that if so – the, the wide receiver that they took in the second round, who I, I don't know his name because I didn't follow the draft. Elijah Moore. Yeah, yeah okay. So he, he was hoping that – they were hoping that he was going to be there at 23 – yeah. And then they moved up and they got the best guard in the draft, which I, I yeah. like that because, you know, that obviously helps a rookie quarterback. And the fact that he just kind of fell to him in the second round, I mean, then, you know, good for Douglas, right? Yeah. One, I thought they might go running back with the beginning of the second round, especially after two went off the board at the end of the first. But Which is crazy to me. Why would you draft the first? Why would you? I, I don't know why they did it. It was Jacksonville. Well, Jacksonville wanted to pick their Clemson guy. Because they drafted the Clemson quarterback, the Clemson receiver, and the Clemson running back, right? It was kind of silly. Uh, they're building a college team down in Jacksonville. Uh, but then they went line, offensive lineman, I think the first pick of the second round, something like that. Phil, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm using, I'm pulling from my no, I, They made a point that all the teams that picked quarterbacks in the first round almost immediately went offensive line help in the, with, with their second pick. Because they were making a point that they all did the same thing, which is smart. You want to you want to protect your rookie quarterback. Did Jacksonville do it, or did they wait? No, they 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 went wide receiver, right? They got the wide. I have to look, but I thought, I thought yeah, I have to, I'll, yeah. Well, no, Jacksonville had two picks in the first round. Yeah, I remember Jacksonville had two picks in the first round. Yeah, they did draft a wide. They did I draft. Think they all did it. But um, yeah, I think they all did it. But so so I wanted the Jets to get a running back, which they did later. And I can't fault them. I mean, the difference between a second, a third, a fourth, a second, a third round running back, they're all starting quality for at least a couple seasons. After that, it kind of drops. And so I don't really know much about um, Michael Moore, number one. 
that they got at running back because then they drafted Michael Moore number two at cornerback right after, which is great meme material. Great meme material. <laughs> That's right. They drafted <laughs> the same guy twice. I remember that. <laughs> well, and, no, and, and the, get this. So they drafted Elijah, sorry, Michael Moore, the running back, and then ESPN starts playing footage of Michael Moore, the cornerback, and the Jets are looking at each other like, did we pick the right guy? Did we make a mistake? And then they checked and they didn't. ESPN did. And then they drafted that guy later. So it's just. They took him anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I found that confusing. It was just a thrill for me to watch them pick offensive players. And then the best name of all, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the white cat that has his hands up in the air going like, what? So someone put Sam Darnold's head on hit that cat. And it was like, Sam Darnold watching the Jets draft, like, what? Because <laughs> um, they never well, that's, so I, I don't know if it was I don't know if it was Greenberg or it was Mel Kiper or Booger, but someone goes, "What if you were Sam Darnold right now, watching the Jets making all these smart draft picks? Like, well, why did you do that for me?" Well, well, Douglas did it last year, but it was it wasn't enough. It was like hitting the home run, but then you got your bad hitter. I mean, I don't know what it is. He he had a decent draft last year. Douglas did, but the team was so crappy. Darnold was too little, too late to play with them. He only had one in there. I He's going to do just fine in Carolina. Well, I was going to say, I don't exactly look at what Carolina did, but they did a pretty good job too, I know, overall. I don't think any team really screwed up this week, this year. No. I mean, everyone's, you know, I, I, listen, well, draft grades are stupid, and you read them and they're like A+, plus, A+, plus, B+, plus, C+. Plus. It's all irrelevant because you can't make any grades on these people yeah. for at least two or three years. But there was no one that was like, wow, this team really screwed up. So, well, so, so I showed my wife the picture of just Zach, uh, Zach Wilson, and she goes, oh, that totally looks like the Jets quarterback. And then I go, well, get this, because the guy at the Patriots drafted totally looks like a Patriots quarterback, Mac Jones. And it's like, he just looks like a guy out of Boston that would be playing for the Patriots. And somehow Zach Wilson just looks like that pretty boy who should be the face of a New York team. It's just kind of amusing. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> You want to root for Mac Jones? You can go be a Patriots fan. <laughs> Me? No, I'm good. No, no. The real question is, will he start and, and beat out Cam Newton for the starting job? I mean, you better hope. Yes. He's a Pats fan, but Cam Newton. Cam Newton is on a very um, pedestrian club contract. Yeah, I know. I know. It they could. They could just. Time. They could just cut him. Well, they won't because they need a veteran backup for their rookie. Well, they can keep Brian Hoyer. Oh, they do still have Hoyer. I don't think they've re-signed him yet, but they could do that. No, but I mean, you could certainly bring him back. Yeah, and and I know you want and you, and you and you cut Cam, you release Cam, and you save yourself a couple million bucks. Call it a day. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do it because I don't think they want to rush Mac Jones onto the field. This is like Bill ba- Bill Belichick's moment in the sun to like be like, look, I can do it, and I, I don't think they'll rush him. But we'll see. But we all know this. You don't draft quarterbacks in the first round and not play them. I, I know. I, I completely agree. They, they, they got to start. I, I don't the know. Day, I, the days of sitting and holding a clipboard for a year or two are those those years are over. Yeah. Well, and Except I'm, in San Francisco. You don't think Trey Lance is going to be on the field week one? No. No, 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 no. You know why? Because Jimmy Garoppolo, number one, Jimmy Garoppolo is still on the team. Yeah, he's not, he's not starting week one. Well, I would expect Garoppolo to beat him in a fair competition, but I'm not expecting a fair competition. Yeah, but they, uh, if you, I mean, to retract sort of my previous statement, not that they made a bad pick, but everyone's like, Trey Lance is, is a good pick. He's just not, he's not your week one starter yet. Now that obviously always, can change. And- I thought he was just like Josh Allen raw, where he, he just didn't get to quite cut his teeth. Well, that's but that's what that's the point. That, that's why he's not going to start week one. That's why Jimmy G is probably going to start start the season, yeah. and he might you know he might play a, a bunch of weeks. We'll um, Trevor Lawrence obviously is taking snap one. Uh, we, we know we know Kyle uh, Zach Wilson's playing snap number one. Right, we, don't um, have any, we don't have a quarterback with any game experience. So. Right, Mac well, Jones is probably going to start week one. But but let me just float this out there because I want to circle back to the Aaron Rodgers news because it's, it's real. And I think if any team screwed up the draft, it's probably Green Bay because of what happened around the draft, not necessarily who they picked. But And because all the headlines were they didn't go offense until like round four when Aaron Rodgers is complaining they never go offense. That being said, Garoppolo is a huge, huge asset. And Garoppolo starting for the Packers 
if they trade Rodgers because he's disgruntled, makes a lot of sense. If 49ers are going to go Lance eventually. Yeah, but d- d- didn't um, San Francisco offered like what two first round picks, Garoppolo, and two players, and Green Bay turned them down? Well, I'm not suggesting that they make a swap. I'm suggesting Aaron Rodgers gets traded and then Garoppolo gets traded subsequently. Do you think Aaron Rodgers plays for the Packers this year? Oh. No. Neither do I. Yeah, I don't think so because he told his teammates he's not coming back. Like he made it pretty clear he's not coming back. So, this hold on, is this all because they drafted that quarterback last year without telling him, or is it bigger? From what I under, from what I heard, and I don't, and you know, obviously I'm not an insider. Him and the GM like can't stand each other. Well, he he demanded that they fire him. Now, I don't think that Aaron Rodgers can win that battle. Didn't Brett Favre lose that battle? Yeah. There was an interesting stat that no Green Bay quarterback has ever played. I think it was, it was either 13 or 14 seasons for the team. Favre, Rodgers, and was it Bart Starr? Whoever it was. All three of them played 12, and then they moved on. <laughs> so they're, they're, at the, they're at the threshold here. Right. Aaron Rodgers has been in the league for like what 16 years, right? right? So, so then it's 16 years then. And they, they, none of them have ever played the 17th season. So they all moved, they all left the Packers before that 17th season. If Aaron Rodgers moves on, it's just that it was hey, things that according to the updated odds that I saw today, Green um, Denver is the leader in the clubhouse to get Rodgers. Well, they intentionally well, they, didn't draft the quarterback, <laughs> but they just got Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah. But we know how he constantly gets. Yeah, up. well, if you get right, if you get Rogers, you're gonna be like, "Hey, Bridgewater." Well, Bridgewater will, back seat. Himself, Bridgewater will find himself in Green Bay, thinking he's gonna start there now, and then the Green Packers will trade well, Garoppolo. Too. Right. So then they'll trade for Garoppolo, and then they'll have two potentially decent starters. I just really think the 49ers are gonna trade Garoppolo. It's like the same as the Darnold situation. He's, his value is never gonna be higher. They better get something for him unless they really think that. They need him for the year. But what team? But what team needs a quarterback? Well, Denver, and maybe Green Bay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but according, yeah, but according to Green, according to the GM of Green Bay, like they're they not going to trade him, him. him. Right. Well, they're they're not going to publicly come out and say that their best player and the former MVP is available. And Man, if if you were a Green Bay fan right now, you're like. Well, this season sucks. The next, the next season's gonna suck too. And they Jordan Love is our savior. They had to watch their quarterback just loving hosting Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah. Man, um, I know it's been tough seasons for the Jets for a long time, but man, knowing that your 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 star quarterback is like, hey, you know what? I don't want to be here anymore. That just sucks. I mean, that's terrible. Yeah, most of our most of our not star quarterbacks kept that to themselves. <laughs> yeah, that could be too. <laughs> All right, we're beating around the bush with the Giants. I think they had a pretty good draft. They, I mean, the obvious the obvious thing is that they obviously avoided drafting offensive line when they had a, the worst offensive line in the league last year. But they obviously liked their offensive line, even though Phil, you continuously shit on their offensive line. Yeah, it's <laughs> we'll leave that out of the conversation. But uh, what are you feeling? It. Apparently that wasn't a strong need because they would have taken offensive line. Um, well, I think I, they were up to give them the credit. They were opportunistic, right? They, they, they made a great deal with Chicago. To well, trade well, even, even before we get to that, I don't understand how the Cowboys <laughs> and the Eagles make a fucking trip. You can bleep that out. How do you? I don't under who makes a trade in division with your rival. That makes absolutely no sense to me. None whatsoever. First of all, the second they made that trade, you know that that Devonte Smith is going to the Eagles. So what that tells me is that Dallas does not fear Philadelphia because if they did, they don't make that trade. They would rather have the Eagles take Devonte Smith than the Giants take Devonte Smith, telling me that they fear New York more than they fear Philly. That's what that tells me. Be that as it may, once he makes that trade, it was the smartest move in the world for Gettleman to trade down. Not only that, what they got back in return for the 11th, 11th pick in the draft, you got a, no, a, a, few, a number one draft pick next year. You know Chicago's not going to be that great. No, I, I, 
That was why that was a great move. Yeah, Andy Dalton is going to start the league or start the year in Chicago. He will. Justin Fields will play, but Andy Dalton's going to start week one. Whether or not he starts week two is is debatable. But the fact that Justin Fields is going to play next year, Chicago's probably not going to be that good. So that that pick could be a top five pick next year. Could be. I I know the Bears traded for Dalton, but they could easily retrade Dalton because they don't need him. Fields is their starter. I mean, again, he can't. It's not to interrupt you, Dan. I apologize. I disagree with you that they're not that good of a football team. They made the playoffs last year with Mitch Trubisky. They have still have a good defense and a good running game. I just okay. So and they have weapons, and they have a de- okay. decent off. They have a decent offensive line, and you got it. You got to you got to admit, like Andy Dalton or not, he is an upgrade. Yeah, from, but but Trubisky, but, yeah, from Trubisky. But 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 to to play devil's advocate, they are going to start Fields, and Fields is a rookie quarterback. Now he could be great, but he's still going to have his hiccups. I don't know. I feel like it's a top 20 pick. I don't see them being in the top 10 teams of the league. I see them being good, but I still think it's a top 20 draft pick. The giants secured. Yeah. I mean, either way, it's a, it's a, it's a smart trade by them. So it worked out. And I guess from what I'm reading, urban Meyer was going to pick Kavarius Tony, which I love that name. Kavarius. It's a good name. Kavarius. Cause he's from Florida, right? Yeah. So uh, from what I read, urban Meyer was going to take him at 22 or I'm sorry, at 25. So but again, I'm not going to pretend I know any of these guys, what they do, yeah. how they are. I, I listen to the guys who are paid millions of dollars to analyze this talent. So I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, it's a great pick. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. We're going to see. I, I hope that that receiver pans out for the Giants. I was just surprised that they went that route because they already signed Galladay. And but so- you know what? But think about it. They would have taken, they would have taken Devonta Smith. No well, doubt about it. So they were going wide receiver regardless. See, I felt like there was three receivers that really stood above the rest in the draft. Smith was the third, I think. The first two guys went in the top ten. I'm blanking on all their names. So I'm not, I wasn't yeah, really – Mar Chase, Jalen Waddell, and, and, uh, and Smith. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. So there was those top three, and so they couldn't get the three. But then there was another set of three or four, and the Giants got one of them. The Jets got one of them. I'm just not familiar right, with them. So I kind of feel like they're all the same. So Me neither. I, I was – surprised that the Giants felt like that receiver was so highly rated when they do have other needs, but they felt like he was the best player available at a position that they still needed. I mean, right. See, that was the thing with them signing all those guys in free agency is that that took you out of the window of having to draft a certain spot, right? right. Cause if you don't sign Galladay, you absolutely have to go wide receiver. Now it was best player available and let the draft come to you. Right, and, and they, they have a stacked wide receiving room, which is great. They have right. a potentially good tight end if he can stop dropping the ball. And oh, Jesus Christ, I was You're shocked. No, no kidding. <laughs> I was shocked that they drafted a running back, but I think they just want a little. Well, that scoring. was in like the sixth. Yeah, that was like one of their last picks. Yeah. They did that. Yeah, so I think that was just an insurance. Yeah, but they also <laughs> have they have no they have no backup plan for Saquon. I mean, we saw that last year. I know. Well, no, they, they signed Devontae Booker, too, from from uh, from the Raiders. Okay. I mean, he. I'd rather I'd rather run it with the rookie than someone that's. Yeah, I mean, you're you're really at this point, you're just you're you're building you're building the cupboard just in case things go awry. Now, talking about it wasn't a great defensive draft, which is true. From from what I'm seeing, in a bunch of places, the 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 edge rusher that the Giants drafted was one of the top defensive players in the draft. He just happened to fall to the second round, which a lot of people were saying he had first round potential. Again, I, I think that knows? was yeah. I think that was the thing about a lot of the defensive players. They were they were going to be able to be get gotten later, even if so you didn't need to draft them in the first round. Basically, um, I don't know if these offensive players are near are all stars or if they just stand above the rest so that you needed to get them right. I, I mean, I think right. some of them. Yeah, so- yeah, so they went running. They went wide receiver, linebacker, or edge rusher, whatever you want. You know, uh, cornerback, linebacker. They got that running back that you talked about, and then cornerback again. So yeah, they, they went pretty defensive heavy too in the draft. Yeah. And, and you want you want a couple of those guys to compete and, and make the roster, and that's what you're hoping for. Yeah, you know, I think they had a I had they had a fine complimentary draft to their their very positive off season. 
you just you're you you have to be all in with with Nate Solder, right? I mean, he he's still there. He's they got. I guess. I mean, listen. Uh, yeah, I, I I was down on him last year only because I don't I didn't feel like he gave us what he was being paid. He took a year off. It clears his head, gets his body right. You know, maybe he comes back and is and and is is what he was in New England. If that's the case, great, perfect. That might have that also might have had something to do with them not going and taking a, a lineman, you know, first pick because they knew they had this guy coming back. So that yeah. could have had something to do. I'm just thinking, like, I, I I'm not sure that. I mean, I really think that they made a smart decision trading with Chicago, but they could have drafted the lineman the Jets got, and that would have given them one guaranteed stud on their line and some protection for Jones. I mean, Daniel Jones is a very good quarterback, but he's forced to run so much because they weren't protecting him that it really has stunted his growth as a quarterback. I mean, he Maybe ran so much with all the season. weapons. He, yeah. Right. With all the weapons he has now, this is it. This, this is the I know the year. That's it. There's no excuses. <laughs> he's got to have, he's got to have the three to five seconds to get him the football. I mean, they, he should, but there's no guarantee. That, that's just really going to be – I mean, that's obviously what it is for the Giants. They, they have nothing else yeah. to do. It'll make or break them. Now, Over, I, mean, I, I watched – I think I watched almost every pick of that first round game because I have nothing else better to do at night. And I think I watched until the Giants picked in round two because they traded down again. They traded for the second time. So I, I'm all set. They're ready to pick – um, I think they were ready to pick 10 and then they moved down to like 17. I'm like, I got I gotta watch more of this. I was I was so ready to go to bed after, after the first round, after yeah. pick eleven, yeah. and then I have to wait till pick twenty. I'm like, oh come on. I might as well just stay up. Yeah. Well, well I, I, I was reading Reddit to see all the hot takes and I've never read a more positive Jets community. So <laughs> it, just, it scares me. Like I said, it scares me. <laughs> but but after years of terribleness like I talk myself into them having good drafts almost every year I don't really feel like I have to do that this year it just feels like it is pretty good so that makes me happy so the question is but when do you want me to order the Zach Wilson jersey from China for you I might have to get one of these this time I'm glad I passed last time you offered (laughs) well you bought me you wanted to play a season first what's what are we looking at here well, I mean, you got me the Sam Darnold jersey. I never even wore it. But, <laughs> get a Beckton jersey. Bought, get, a, right? get a Beckton jersey. It's safe. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, I don't think they make those, Dan. Oh. Can we get a generic <laughs> name so that if someone else joins the team, it'll still work? <laughs> what they should do is they should make jerseys with Velcro strips on the back so you can just rip it off. That's what they should do. Just get a Jets number one and don't put a name on it. <laughs> there you go. You can be that guy. Yeah, he never wore the Arnold one. Maybe that's why it went wrong. You didn't even twenty five dollars. Who cares? You just buy another one. You didn't even support our quarterback. Well, it's twenty five for the jersey and then twenty five to ship it. So, oh, is that per jersey or is it per order? It's per order. So that's why when when we when we make these orders, we just I I ask a bunch of people, and it's twenty. You know, if you the more you buy, the less it is to ship. Well, let, let me know. I've never bought a jersey. Maybe this will be the first time, and it's worth it. <laughs> well, if you, you want a Sam Darnold jersey, I'll mail it to you. <laughs> oh, I could have some fun with that, especially here. At, I'll, I, I'll, co- I'll cover the cost for shipping. At yes. USC land. <laughs> okay, send it to me. Send it to me. I'll go down to the USC and wear it and see what happens. It, it, it might it might be a little big on you, but yeah, my sure. oh, I, I could tie it in the front like all the, the pretty ladies do when they tie their shirts. Can, Whatever you do in California, man. All right. He, all can right. Wear it over, he can wear it over his winter coat. Right. I got. Yeah. I have to go buy a winter coat. <laughs> yeah. He's not existent winter coat there in SoCal. Uh, so, so, so back to these hot takes because the Rogers one was got me the most, and I and but it even reached you who was checked out over the weekend. <laughs> Listen, do we do we believe that Denver didn't draft a quarterback because they think they have Rogers? Do we think that's as close to a done deal? This is so intriguing to me. I had I had to bring it up back up. I was listening to somebody over the weekend on one of these shows, and I, actually, I think it was Mark Schlereth who was talking, and he basically said it's essentially a done deal. What the hell does that mean? I don't know, but he kind of gave the impression that it was on the verge. 
it, I think they want to wait till after June first because the the cap number changes significantly in Green Bay's favor. So I think yeah, I also heard that too. If they wait till June second, they save a crap ton of money on the cap. So perhaps it's a done deal, and then in a month it'll happen. You just it's hard to keep things quiet for a month, especially with the way Rodgers is talking. Right. But you're right. Why did they not draft the quarterback? Because you know they're not sold on um, what the hell's his name out there. <laughs> no, Drew Lock. Drew Lock. Oh. Oh, they, they love Locke. <laughs> right. Um, so, so we must, we, we were all speculating whether the Dolphins were really all in on Tua, but they're definitely all in on Tua because they just supported the hell out of him from this draft. Um, but it's, it's, uh, it, it's not a big deal because no, it's year if he's not good this year, they'll just get another quarterback next year. Yeah. No, I, I know. And so, the, last year in the AFC East, it was Bills, Dolphins, Patriots, Jets, in that order, right? We got two rookie quarterbacks, one sophomore, and one uh, proven near – I don't know. Did just Josh Allen make the Pro Bowl yet? Because he should have. So they got one Pro Bowler and then a sophomore and two rookies. So, so the question is, is it going to be the same order of standings next year? Bills, yeah, that's, I guess that's the question. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I don't see. I don't see how. Uh, I don't see how the um, don't win the division. To be honest with you, who's Mac Jones throwing to? Because Edelman just retired. Ed- Edelman's going to Tampa. <laughs> Seriously or joke? Pretty sure he retired. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey. Um, I, no, I agree with you. I think Buffalo wins the division, but I do think that the Jets move ahead of the Patriots. I don't know if they can get ahead of the Dolphins this season. Um, I just – the energy I forgot, of the Jets is – I forgot great. Will Fuller went to the – the Dolphins' wide receiver core is stacked. Yeah, it's just a matter of if their defense can hold it together. It seemed like it was kind of breaking apart last year. But... Yep, their defense for about eight weeks last year was the best defense in the league. No, I know. But then it wasn't for the whole season. So I, I don't, I don't want to, I can't possibly say the Jets are going to be good because there's no evidence yet on the field to say so. But they're definitely going to be improved. Um, but we don't also don't even know what their schedule is and what their, you know, how hard, how hard their first eight games are going to be versus their last nine games, you know. May, May 12th, baby, May 12th. May 12th yeah. Baby, baby. A week. Well, I think it's fair to say that the Giants are improved. The rest of the division doesn't feel significantly better. And the Giants should have won the division last year. So are they the favorites again? Why didn't why didn't Washington draft a quarterback? I don't know. They they traded half yeah, Fitz. Smith I know they have Fitz, but Fitz isn't gonna be their quarterback in five years. Why didn't they draft a quarterback? Is it you know what it is? It must be that they feel like they'll get the top three pick this year and draft the quarterback this coming draft. After they won the division possible. and made the playoffs. No, no, it's, right, it's Washington's it's, roster. Washington's roster isn't terrible. Maybe, you know what it is? They must have seen what Fitz did in, in the Miami and said, man, if he started every game for them, they would have been a great team. He should start for us because they have a similar makeup with a great defense and decent offensive assets. So, I mean, Fitz is an upgrade. He's just not a long-term answer. I don't know. I, I, I saw well, – what's his name? Uh, did, did the Cowboys release Vander Esch? Or I thought I saw something on Leighton Vander Esch today. I can't remember what it was. Hmm. I know he was hurt all last year, but – Yeah. Because I know they drafted Minka Parsons, so they kind of drafted his replacement anyway. No, they drafted um, Sean Lee's replacement. Well, what, well, but yes, but Vander Esch plays linebacker as well, so – Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel great about the Cowboys. I do feel like. I mean, we were talking about Garoppolo. I mean, Washington could trade for Garoppolo. Also, I don't know what they'd be giving up, but maybe draft capital. They yeah. got some picks. There's still a couple of unanswered questions around here. I just. I. I. I didn't yeah. understand. I, listen, I'm glad they didn't draft a quarterback. I just don't understand why they didn't do it. Well, right, and I'm not sold on the Eagles' quarterback, even though the Eagles are sold on it. Right. So, so listen, <laughs> Dan, you watched the draft, right? So. When the Eagles drafted Devonta Smith, 
it was it me or he just did not look thrilled to be drafted by the Eagles. He his head was just like, oh man, he did not look thrilled to be drafted by them. Maybe that's just me a fanboy here, but no, I don't think you're a little far off. I don't. Yeah, I don't think they, people don't want to go to Philadelphia. I mean, the way Carson Wentz had to talk his way out of town because he was sick and tired of being there. Like, it just I don't get the impression that there's a good energy around the team and between a good relationship between the coaching staff and the players. Now that could probably, that'll probably die out over the summer, right? They'll be face to face again. They really didn't have that last season, but the Carson Wentz left the cloud over the team. So that, that cloud hasn't cleared yet. I, I also think in his mind, he was ready to go to New York until five minutes before the pick and they had, and that trade happened. Like, I, I think he was dead set. I'm like, I'm going to New York, but it yeah. didn't happen. No, I mean he'll he'll get to go to New York twice this season. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, well, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> not how he wanted. Uh, Listen, I still think the Eagles are are a, a lot of pieces away. They were a lot of pieces away last year, and and Devonta Smith's a great player, but he he's he's not going to change the fortunes of this team overnight. So I think the Eagles are still no. in a real tough spot. No, and then do we do we? I still- can guarantee you this. I I you put my. Well, I like to put the house on it. The Giants will be playing the Eagles week one. That's my guess. Yeah, no, that's a very fair bet. Either Giants, Eagles, or Giants, Cowboys. I mean, because it's going to be a divisional matchup. Well, that's true. Oh, that, that's a good point. But I think it's going to be Giants, Eagles. So I could see Jets, Patriots, but that would really encourage the Mac Jones play week one. I don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, are they going to match the them Patriots, up? The Patriots are probably going to open against Tampa Bay because they play each other this year. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, and the Jets have played the Bills two years running. They'll probably keep it going just for posterity. <laughs> I guess the question would be, do you waste that on week one? But Tampa Bay's got to open against somebody on that Thursday night. It might as well be Bill Belichick, right? Is it is it always Tampa Bay? The, 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 the Super Bowl champion kicks off the season? Yes. Yeah, you- yeah, I mean, they could they could throw Aaron Rodgers in that spot. I guess they don't know what team he's on unless they do. Um I'm assuming they play each other. That's a good point. He, so, <laughs> you, you would like to know that information ahead of time when you're making the schedule so you can put them on on these marquee matchups. So if, if Denver played Green Bay, I don't know if they do this year, but you know that's going to be – that that would have to be a, a primetime game, right? Do, do the Jets play Carolina? Because that's – They do. I don't know. Ooh. They play the NFC South this year. Okay, that's fun. And not fun, but fun. Oh, so you get to play Brady again. Yep. That's the not fun part. That's they a loss. Actually, even I actually think, actually think quarterback. the Giants play too. I think the Giants played Tampa Bay again this year, too. Tampa Bay drafted a quarterback because they saw the writing on the wall. Well, I'm, like, amazed. They drafted that, a quarterback, like, the last round, though. No, right, but that's that's the same thing that Green Bay did that supposedly miffed Rodgers so badly. No, no, no. What Miss Rogers is Green Bay traded up in the first round to take the quarterback. That's the problem. I, mean, I think he was really upset that he was they were wasting picks on players that didn't help him. But, no, no, that's what I, I agreed. But after Deva, Devontae Adams, what there's nothing there. Yeah. That's what he was at. I mean, they have a decent running game, but I, I agree. I don't I don't know why they don't I don't think the Packers are particularly well run. I think Rogers has truly pushed that team over the top year after year. Well, they've, they've lost two years in a row in the NFC Championship game. So, I mean, it's like you get to that spot and you can't go any further. Right, when you're one player away, but like one or two players away, potentially. And, but, you don't, but you don't draft the, those said well, players. You draft replacements. There's an argument to be made that the fact that there's so much disgruntledness between your starting quarterback and your front office and coaching staff, that that may be why you didn't get to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that type of thing means something. And if, if that's the difference that you said, a NFC championship lost two years in a row, maybe that's the difference. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, like we said before, between now and July, there's really not going to be much going on. Hopefully for the, that's good. You know, that's good. Yeah. No news is good news, right? We'll get, we'll get more, we'll get more wall street Wilson memes and, uh, <laughs> what's the New York Giants memes? There's no good Giants memes. They gotta search for something. No, we're, no, we're business. We're business over here. We're all business. No, we, don't, we don't mess around with the memes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that goes for 
for the Giants at all business. We're, we're all gas, no brakes here at the Jets. <laughs> <laughs>